Hey, it's Eddie. I'm going to do a short video on the sprinkler system because the LA County Fire Department did require me to put a sprinkler system into a concrete house that's underground and cannot burn. Whatever. So this is basically it. It's a pretty simple system. It's PVC pipes. Um, uh, they ran, these are the heads and the tops that go on them. Um, there's one of these in every room and going into every closet. It's designed so that in the event of a fire, it'll apparently sense heat, kick on, start dumping water. On the outside of the house, there's a pressure valve that when it senses flow, triggers an alarm bell. So that if it happens to go off during the day when I'm not here, hopefully the alarm will alert somebody and somebody will come over and either put out a fire if there's a fire or What's more likely is that it will be malfunctioning and filling the house with water. Um, I hate these things. They, I know scores of people who've had their entire lives upended and their houses literally destroyed when sprinkler systems went off and just flooded their entire house. Even if this thing only goes off for two or three minutes, it's gonna fill the entire house with water and, uh, and pretty much ruin uh, whatever room it went off in and anything that's below it. So. They're required uh, by California code now because we live in the nanny state. And um, yeah, so I'll take a walk around with the camera and show you some of the other spots where they're sticking out. They're not too obtrusive. They're not that ugly. So that's not really not the issue. It was the expense. I think this cost me about $12,000 uh, to have this done. Um, and I shopped around a bit and that was kind of the going rate to have a house this size done was about 12 grand. So. Yeah, thank you, California, for, you know, and, and it's funny because they complain about the cost of housing out here and then they do stuff like this and require, require you to put in stuff that, honestly, I, my personal feeling is that this isn't necessary. And in fact, the fire chief I spoke to said that if there was ever an excuse to grant a waiver, this house would be it. But unfortunately, he said he doesn't have the power to grant it because that's a California state mandate now. All new homes have to have sprinkler systems, regardless of how they're built, the way they're built, what they're made of, etc. So it is what it is. I'm not happy about it, but yay. So, and this is also something that I couldn't do myself. It was just gluing PVC pipes, but I had to have a licensed sprinkler company come in and do it. So these guys came in, two guys did this in about three, three or four days. Um, they had to do a design. They do a whole plan, a drawing, that then they submit to the county, the county signs off on it, and then they put it in. And of course, once they got here and they realized there were spots because of the odd shape of this house, there were spots that were not gonna get hit by a sprinkler. Um, so they ended up having to add a few more heads here and there because the way the system's supposed to work is each head is supposed to be positioned so, it, so that every square inch of this place can get hit by a sprinkler. So you don't have a fire starting off in a corner, sprinkler goes off and the water doesn't get there. So that's the way it's designed. That's why there's a whole bunch of heads. And on the second floor, we had to use what's known as sidewall because they stick out because we can't really stick them out of the top. On the first floor, it's all roof, uh, they're all ceiling, they poke out. So that's it, not really too much complicated with the sprinklers, but that's it. <clears throat> and you'll see there's the sprinkler up here that'll spray the, uh, the center area. And we've got them over in here. You can see the red caps. The red caps kind of delineate where they are. So that'll get that closet. This one and that one will cover this room. Uh, there's one in the bathroom here. We got that. And we got a couple up top here. Uh, just in case we get a fire way up in the top of the cupola, which probably unlikely, but I suppose possible. So one of the things you'll note is that they've put a piece of foam here where the electrical cord is next to the uh, PVC for the sprinkler. And this is very important to do because what happens is over time, if this is touching this, it actually will cause this to corrode and melt, believe it or not. Um, and then it pops and you have a leak inside your house, inside your walls. So you wanna make sure any place where there is electrical conduit next to a piece of uh, PVC pipe that's for your sprinkler system has to be placed with a piece of foam to insulate it. Uh, like over here, they didn't do it. I have to shame on them for that. And on this one, it slipped down. So clearly these need to be pushed up 
and taped in place, which we will do. I will make sure that that gets done. Uh, just a little bit of duct tape around it should be fine. Like up there, they got it. Uh, they did it again up there and over there. It's just a couple spots where it got, it got missed.